Hey first graders, I am here to read you a making meaning story. Um, and we have been focusing on our nonfiction books the last couple of weeks. We read about hearing when before we left school. And last week I read to you a good night's sleep and I read to you about dinosaur babies. And we were making connections to those books. I'm gonna keep reading you nonfiction books um, today. A nonfiction book today and we're switching gears back to wondering so wondering is a skill we've already talked about in first grade and it's something that we do while we read to keep our minds engaged and focused on the book and also make sure that we're learning as much as we can and if we have questions we want to ask them so we can maybe keep researching and keep learning about the topic so today I'm going to read through the book. I will pause and ask you what you've learned or what you're wondering. And if you need to pause the video so that you can like say those thoughts out loud or make sure you have time for those thoughts, of course, go ahead and do that. So today we're reading the book, A Kangaroo Joey Grows Up. It is written by Joan Hewitt and the photographs are by Richard Hewitt. They have the same last name. That's making me wonder something. People who have the same last name are usually a part of a family. It also doesn't say illustrated by, it says photographed by. And we talked last week about nonfiction books, or even at school we've talked about nonfiction books. They're not always drawings because nonfiction books are real true things. So these are actual real photographs of kangaroos that this man has taken. Okay, so Kipper um, is the name of this kangaroo joey that we're going to read about. A joey means a baby kangaroo, and we're going to read about his life and how he grows up. Um, and before we begin, I want you to pause the video and name some things that maybe you already know about kangaroos. All right, so in this story, Kipper the baby kangaroo lives on a nature preserve in Australia. And in a nature preserve, the animals are protected from hunters. So this is a safe place for kangaroos to live where they won't um, be hunted. Like they would um, be, they live like they would in the wild, but it's just a protection from them. So they still have space and they still have woods and place to grow. They just are protected so that they don't get hurt by the hunters. Okay, so we're going to read aloud, and I want you to listen well and think about what you're learning about the kangaroo as we read. Remember, if I ask any questions, you can always pause the video to make sure you have time to answer them. In his mother's pouch. Lick, lick. A kangaroo cleans her pouch. Soon her baby will be born. The kangaroo lives in a nature preserve. Hunting is not allowed here, and life is peaceful. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. This joey's name is Kipper. Kipper is no bigger than a kidney bean, a tiny little bean. He has no fur, and he does not look like a kangaroo. That's him inside his mama. Kipper lives in his mother's pouch. He drinks her milk, and he grows. Now he's beginning to look like a kangaroo. Kipper begins to move around. When he is six months old, he peeks out. Kipper hears a new noise. He is afraid. He hides his face in his mother's pouch. But still, he's curious, so he peeks out again. So that's not Kipper over there in the picture. You can see his face and his legs are hanging out of his mama's pouch. Kipper sees other kangaroos. All right, so far I want you to pause and think of the things you've learned about Kipper in his mother's pouch. The next page and section is called Learning to Hop. Kipper is almost eight months old. He wants to stand on his own. Slowly, the joey sets his front legs down and he climbs out of the pouch. He's finally on the ground. Kipper has a long, heavy tail. He has big black feet. Kipper's tail and his feet help him stand. He looks all around. But Kipper's legs are not strong enough yet to hop, so he springs head first back inside his mother's pouch. 
And then the Joey somersaults, and look at he split. He's back in his place. Every day, Kipper climbs out of the pouch, and every day his legs get stronger. Soon, he can hop. Hopping is hard work, and Kipper is tired. He rests in his mother's pouch. From his front row seat, Kipper sees his world. His mother has strong legs, and she can hop all day without stopping. All right, pause here. Think about what you've learned, and if there's anything you're wondering. Remember, our wondering starts with, I wonder. Miss Lumsden is wondering how much longer the kangaroo Joey Kipper will stay with his mom or if soon he goes off on his own. Kangaroos abound. It is early in the evening and kangaroos are grazing. Kipper is 10 months old and now he eats grass too. Kipper stays close to his mother. They move along slowly. By noon, the air is hot and the leafy trees provide shade. Kipper licks his fur and it helps him feel cooler. In the afternoon, it's even hotter, so Kipper dives into his mother's pouch. His mother lies down and they take a long nap. All right, maybe pause there and retell what Kipper, Kipper and his mother do in the part that I just read. Next, it says almost grown up. Kipper is 13 months old. That means he's a year and one month old. He hops easily, but he cannot keep up with his mother. The big Joey no longer fits in his mother's pouch either, but he still drinks her milk. And wherever his mother goes, Kipper tags along. Now Kipper's 14 months old. His back legs keep getting stronger. Before long, he can hop as far and as fast as his mother. He can live on his own now. The kangaroo Joey has grown up. All right, I want you to pause and talk about what Kipper does now that he's grown up and if there's anything else you're still wondering about kangaroos. In the back of our book, you can see that we have a timeline that across the top shares how old the kangaroo is and then it gives facts about what he can do and what how what he can do depending on how old he is and then it gives you a couple more um, pages of information about kangaroos so that is our book a kangaroo joey grows up if you're wondering anything maybe you can send your questions to me and we can talk about them all right talk to you soon bye friends